You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your general weekly reading. Now, Virgo, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Virgo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Virgo, I'm just going to be reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Virgo, and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whichever way, okay? And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Virgo, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe um, because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that. And then also let me know what card resonates with you in this reading because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? And hearing about how just the cards resonate and correlate for y'all in each of y'all's unique lives. Um, <clears throat> and then finally, Tor, or I almost called you Taurus. I'm sorry, Virgo. Uh, finally, Virgo, this reading here is just to give you some perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live and not mine. Ultimately, this reading here is just to give you some food for thought, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week. So, with all that said, now Virgo, let's get into this reading now with your overall energies. Now, we're gonna do a... We're gonna do a moon card as well, a moon oracle card for this. So, give me a little bit more patience before we do this, Virgo. So, let's get into this now. We have the blue moon. I'm glad I pulled this card, took the time for this card. Now, the blue moon, believe in the impossible. So, a Virgo, this is definitely, I definitely get like, there's like this sense of doubt, this sense of like, uh, wavering faith is something that I'm hearing right now for some of my Virgos. What's going on, honey? Like, what's been, y'all probably, it seems like y'all have been going through a little bit of a rough transition. Y'all may have been starting to lose faith in whatever it is that's been going on in your life. So maybe losing faith in regards to connection with the person, losing faith in regards to, like, your finances working out, or maybe even just losing faith and just, like, feeling like you can go on to the next day, Virgo. I can understand that more than anyone right now. Like, trust me on that. But, um, you do need to, like, push through, honey. Um, <laughs> those deep thoughts right there, right? It's like, oh, you're going through all these struggles, Virgo. Just push through. No, it's fine. No. Truly, I get this sense of that you guys are just going through this rough transition. You guys are just going through... We won't even add a bunch of purpose to this right now, Virgo, right? Because you probably don't even want to hear about it. You're just going through a hard time, right? You have the Hermit card paired with the Three of Swords here. And I'm not laughing at your pain. I'm just laughing at the pairing of it because they just find it... Um, I just appreciate how Tarot just will tell its story. Um, I see, like, an individual Virgo where it is you just are done with people probably with this hermit card coming in you're probably just checked out from people you're checked out from opening up really is something that i'm getting really because here's the thing virgo when you have like this sense of like your wavering faith right it's almost as if like you're being fed up or you're just tired of trying to um you're tired of being disappointed by people perhaps even right because i just get the sense of disappointment when i hold this card for you guys virgo um i get this sense of disappointment and when it's paired with the three of swords i mean honey i feel like the card itself is pretty self-explanatory in what it means right with the three of swords definitely going through some pain here that's probably what the three of swords is probably what puts you in this transitional period to the hermit right but here's the thing right um, take this as you will, Virgo, right? <laughs> Just because I'm saying it doesn't dismiss the experience that you're going through, right? But with this Dawn of Cups as well, there seems there is already this pattern, Virgo, of where spirits really trying to um spirits really trying to get you at this place of having faith again. I feel like that's like the most important aspect for them right now or like their mission for you this week. Virgo is just to not give up. We have the Dawn of Cups coming in for you where it's just like, I feel like this is more of a time Virgo to consider new energies rather than trying to make old energies work, right? So what do I mean by this? What I would mean by this Virgo is that 
you know, if you've been trying to make a certain project work in a certain way, or you've been trying to make it work with a certain person, right? Maybe, maybe no longer bash your head against that wall, right? Uh, if you've been dealing with it for a long time now, maybe let's move on. Let's try a different route. Because what's going on right now clearly isn't helping you right now. It's clearly just putting you in this state of more reclusiveness. It's clearly um, just putting you in this place of really internalizing what's going on and just isn't having a healthy um, relationship with you. So let's consider new energy. Let's consider like something opening up to something new, right? With this Dawn of Cups, this is like a opening up to like new people, opening up to new opportunities, considering uh, new things rather than... Uh, answering responding to this three of swords with losing hope and retreating inwards right without hermit so let's get into your my virgos uh career situations their career and finances now virgo i always will do a row for my uh, virgos that are interested in their career and then i'll do a row in terms of my virgo social situation and then after we'll just get into some general messages to close out this reading but uh the career cards that i pulled out and starting out with you virgo is we have the let me finish the shuffle real quick we have the ace of disc coming in for you pretty good card we have the nine of swords coming in here honey <laughs> and then we have the emperor card so ultimately two really good cards and then one card that kind of like makes me raise an eyebrow virgo what's going on here honey so let's break this down a little bit before we get into some clarifiers ace of coins i see this paired with the emperor card like these two these two virgo are beautiful energies because it's like you're taking action like the emperor's like that proactive energy the you know just taking that leadership role really just taking action um being at the forefront of um your career of your finances i just see you i just see forward movement i guess right but with, especially with this ace of discs um i really just see this as a sense of where just take i just keep hearing matters into your own hands or wanting to at least because then we have this nine of swords where you're in your head so I'm, this is where i'm just like okay so you have all this energy here wanting to take a leadership role honey and then this comes in and right in the middle of it just being like nope because now this is just where it's like virgo you want to do the emperor the ace of discs you want to continue going forward but this anxiety this is anxiety this is self-doubt this is just getting in your head too much and allowing things to sabotage virgo <laughs> how many times can i hone in on that message right uh let's pull some clarifiers for this though so we can get a little bit more of a detailed message in regards to this virgo see what is up where is this we'll do this one Hermit is following you, Virgo, that is for sure. So the clarifier that we pulled for your Emperor card is the King of Coins. So a lot of pentacle energy here. This is honestly, in terms of your finances and career, Virgo, I get a lot of positivity. But here's the thing, it's nothing like with this pentacle energy and just like the the characters, we'll say, the characters being like the King of Coins, the Emperor card, the Ace of Coins even as its own character. Um, this is all dealing with you. This is not really like a situation where opportunity just happens. This is where it's like you kind of are the one making the opportunity. You are the one making the investments. You're the one taking the action, Virgo. So I see success um, in you taking action, Virgo. Um, Hermit card uh, as the clarifier with this Ace of Discs. You know, this lets me know this. I was kind of raising an eyebrow, but now that I'm reflecting on this energy a little bit more, Virgo, I like this because at first I was like, oh, honey, like we're seeing two different hermit cards coming in for you. <laughs> I was going to like feel like I have to chastise you, Virgo, and be like, stop, like, don't get into your spiral. Don't spiral. Don't get into your head. That's how you get stuck in a rut, honey. Right. But I see this time of where it's just you more, more so are your. I see this more so as a message, Virgo, of you, the more that you listen to yourself and not allow outside influences, right? Don't listen to outside people giving you advice on investments, right? You know what it is that you want to invest in and stick to those investments. Don't uh, veer off, right? 
Three of Cups comes in here as a clarifier for the Nine of Swords. So this is what, you know, this this is truly like the blockage. This is what's blocking you from this Three, three of Cups, right? This is literally what's sabotaging you, Virgo, from having the celebration. So in regards to your career, Virgo, what I would get from this week is through you taking action is going to be super profitable, right? That's something that that's just really the impression I'm getting through you taking action. Otherwise, I don't really see too much happening um, in regards to your career and finances, uh, Virgo, if you should decide not to take action. Um, but because I don't, we're not seeing any like ace, we're not seeing cups cards, right? We're not seeing any blessings coming through. We're just seeing like hard work, pentacle energy, getting your hands dirty. Uh, closing out this energy, we have the four of wands or not the four of wands, the four of swords. This is a card of solitude again, uh, Virgo. Really just, I don't know, like, I don't know who your business partners are. I don't know who's giving you advice, Virgo. Um, but whatever it is, Tarot does not like them giving you advice, honey, because it's just like, they're telling you, it's just like, no, like, you can learn this on your own. You do not need whatever outside influence going on here. Um, so such a push, uh, for you to really just stop out allowing outside influences affect you, uh, Virgo, or influence your actions um at the very least in your career but we can't neglect the fact that we did have that hermit card come in for you as your general energies as well virgo right all right so now we're getting into the social situation for my virgos and the cards that <laughs> oh honey wow uh the cards that we have for you virgo before we get into clarifiers we have the devil card I love this deck just because it's like, I can't take myself seriously with any of the cards I pull out and I'm just like, bam, like all the cards are just kind of like questionable looking. She's like, what is that? Uh, the devil card coming in. And we have the ten of disc coming in. Yeah, so this is definitely uh, addressing the home life, addressing the stability in your life. And then we have the death card coming in. So we have the death, the devil, ten of pentacles. But this is good though. It seems really spooky. It sounds really scary, right? When you just hear the cards, when you look at the cards, even it's kind of like, what the heck? Uh, <laughs> but let me tell you why this is good. Why? Let me tell you why I enjoy this, Virgo. I enjoy this because I see you addressing this devil situation. Now, if this devil was just here with that ten of pentacles running, roaming freely, um, then I'd be like, okay, is this like that three of swords that's what's going on here, right? Um, still feel like this three of swords is probably connected with the devil card, but this death card comes in, honey. While a lot of people will cringe at the death card and be afraid of it, this is a good card to have because this death card overrides this devil in the sense of where it's like you're addressing this. You're putting an end to this devil playing a relevant role in your ten of disc, your uh, home life, your stability. Um, you know, it's funnily enough that the disc, ten of disc, is like more of that universal card. You know, usually um, Virgo with the disc cards, it's usually just really it deals with manifestation energies and earthly matters, right? But usually people associate pentacles just with like your career and finances, right? So it's interesting. <laughs> we got you into your social situation after I literally was just talking about there's someone in your life seemingly that just is not giving you good advice, um, or at least spirit doesn't want you to have advice from outside people right now and just more so listening to your own intuition it's funny that you get the ten of discs just because it's like ten of discs is like that all-encompassing card where it's just like not just finances but it's also just like that family life the people around you your close-knit circle <laughs> so it's very interesting um just how that card comes in i it probably doesn't isn't interesting to anybody else but as like a little tarot geek that does readings every single day like i just appreciate that dynamic <laughs> uh let's see here so the clarifiers that i pulled now virgo so let's rearrange these real quick because i did get a little bit jumbled so we have the devil card the clarifier comes in with the two of swords beautiful you're blocking yourself out from some type of we'll call it like a toxic energy just for simplicity's sake but something that just isn't adding value to your life anymore that's weighing you down that brought you that pain with that through your swords right you're closing yourself off to that you're keeping yourself guarded now um you're not allowing this into your space anymore you know the two of swords is definitely like that fork in the road and then making need the need to make a decision and i see you making a decision moving on from them right 
uh, we have the Emperor card coming in with the Ten of Discs. So didn't we pull the Emperor card? Yeah, we did pull the Emperor card from before. So the Emperor card's following you as well. Um, definitely just a call to action, a call, a call to leadership. All your cards, uh, Virgo, are cards where it's just like, they don't really need to seek insight, right? King of Pentacles doesn't need insight. Emperor doesn't need insight. They're all leadership. Like, they are taking matters into their own hands, right? They are the ones that thrive off of that hermit energy. Um, and then we have the death card coming in with the clarifier, King of Wands. So truly, this is like someone putting their foot down, Virgo. This is someone being putting their foot down and being like, enough's enough. Um, and I see you just letting go of it. I don't even see like chances or anything. Like I just see you fed up with somebody and just being like, you know what? Like, you're not even fighting with them. You're not even engaging with them, Virgo. You're just like, peace, man. Like, I'm not dealing with you. So <laughs> I enjoy this because it's kind of like straight to the point. Like, I feel like I don't need to really say anything. You already kind of know what it is that you're doing. It seems, Virgo. Three cards flew out for you. So we have the moon card coming in. We have the ace of cups coming in or five cards, I guess. Six of cups. Well, five of swords. Let's actually break this down because this is like a reading in of itself. This is like telling me like the juicy gossip of this. So with this moon card, this is a card of intuition, right? This is also a card of something being revealed to you. When it's in regards to the social situation, I can't help but feel like something kind of like reveals itself to you of like this person, right? Maybe the devil shows himself to you, right? I do see this. Five of Swords lets you know that a little bit of resentment, competition, or this sense of... um more so we'll just hone in on the resentment aspect of it where you're just like why would you do that right there is like this sense of being hurt from this because the six of cups and this ace of cups is where it's just like this person meant a lot to you this person and you you all have a pretty long history and it's probably why they had such an influence on you for a while and explains why you're in such a deep pain now and where you don't really want to talk to anybody because like something caught you off guard that really hurt you virgo and now you're just like you're just in this place where you kind of just want you're just like checked out you're checked out like emotions are it feels like the emotion like emotions are the last thing you want to deal with people's the last thing you want to deal with like you just want to focus on you and yours interesting uh let's get into just some general messages final general messages for my virgo <sighs> let's see here we have the ten of cups really good um so you do find your people you do find your happiness nine of wands through self-empowerment right through a journey of the self right the nine of wands is someone that has to break out onto their own journey for a while um virgo so even in this situation we have that death card maybe you just need a break from somebody finding yourself but it's through you finding yourself ten of cups comes in where your cups are filled super fulfilled two of wands comes in as well it's almost like going back to the drawing board with something and and it's like when you go back to the drawing board with something, after you release something, then you start, like, the actions you take after this week, Virgo, I just see it really taking you, I just see you going on such a beautiful journey that pays out so well for you, um, but it's, like, completely different than from what the path that you were originally leading. Sounds super dramatic, but I'm sure it's going to res resonate with some of you Virgos. Um, I don't feel drawn to pull any more cards for you, Virgo. I don't feel like we need any more clarifiers. I feel like you guys kind of have this under control now. Um, so definitely, uh, let me know how this reading resonates with you, Virgo. I love you so much. If this, if you did enjoy this reading, rather, be sure to share this video with a friend and then give this video a like and subscribe. Till next time, Virgo. I love you so much. Bye.